WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. Currently, we have a sea of green out there. You've got all the sectors inside the S&P 500 trading to the upside. All the indices, U.S. indices that we track, also trading to the upside. The only thing that I've got that's red on my screen is the spot volatility, which is back 45 cents. It's well below its 50-day exponential moving average. It always puts the wind at the sails of the back of the S&P 500. The U.S. dollar index as well. That's down 517 ticks. So I do have a 10-minute delay out there trading out at about 106. 718. That being said, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini upper left hand side. All we see out here is a consolidation for the ES Mini with inside its daily profile. And that's from the range of 3645 to 3806. Spot volatility, as you can see, still still well below yesterday. Or yet, well, it's below yesterday's low. That's a bearish directional signal, if you will. But mo more importantly, it is a bullish directional signal because price is below that 50-day exponential moving average. If you take a look at the NQ, it's made its way back to support. That's the bottom of its daily profile. The bottom of that profile is at 11,571. That's held. If you can't bust them to the downside, it'll try to bust them to the upside. That could mean a run up to the 11,981 area. That is the top of the profile. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, backing off after getting up to the top of its profile. The top of a profile, folks, is where sellers reside. The bottom of a profile is where the buyers are at. So, you know, the just price didn't get all the way up uh, to the uh, profile of yesterday, the high yesterday in the U.S. dollar, 107.89, the top of that profile, 108.02. Close enough for our line of work out here. Now, what the U.S. dollar index does have is a buy the D point pattern. So it's just taking a bit of a rest. Goldilocks, gold is uh, sitting right at about the bottom of its daily profile. It's 17.41.90, price at 17.41.90. How about that? Right to the tick. You've got silver. It's got a new profile as well. It's got a new weekly profile. It, quite frankly, is attempting to form. So resistance inside of silver is going to be up at the 2150 level. Price can clear that. Then you're looking to move to 2208. New profile forming. New bullish structure profile, I should say, forming. Four lights we crew. Price did hold the weekly profile yesterday. That new profile, price closed today above 8084. It suggests to run up to the 8781 level. Natural gas needs to, it's going to go target that 799 ish area that is the i'm sorry it's going to go target the uh, 687 level that's the swing point high from november the 7th and if we can clear that then it's off to 799 folks stay tuned for the trader's Ed show but if you have to start your tuesday please have a terrific one and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon take care